Greetings, I'm Bruce and this is the third part of a four-part video for Oilfield Innovation self-assessment of its plug and abandonment new technology. Part one described the technical challenges and part two the market size, with the present part three describing the value of services. The picture you see here is the same operation seen in part two, involving the use of slick line or wire line for P&A on a normally unattended installation or offshore platform. The picture is taken from the helideck. The crane in the left-hand side of the picture is supporting a vertical lubricator in the center of the picture, with two men operating a wireline winch to deploy tooling into and out of a well. As you can see, our methods involve minimal resources, and in this segment we describe what services can capture the value of oil field innovations patents. Obviously, mobilizing people and equipment to remote offshore locations to perform P&A work requires planning. Project planning and offshore logistics specialization is a service area that can be used to capture significant value from implementation of our technology. Offshore logistical companies can benefit from their own resources. Project planning groups can contract logistical needs from the spot market and or offshore logistics can be managed through the patent licensing process. P&A well engineering services can also capture significant value from our technology. The services can be in-house employees or contractors, or alternatively, engineering can be licensed to local engineering firms. Any combination of internal resources, alliances, and license agreements can be used for project planning, offshore logistics, and well engineering. Rigless equipment service providers and manufacturers can also capture significant value from the patents. Quell tubing, wireline pumping, and logging tool operators and manufacturers may be either internal or outsourced. Worldwide development will likely require licensing to local firms, especially when the work involves national oil companies. Using the legal monopoly afforded by the patents, licensing and or franchising, can include a percentage added to the total P&A invoice and or revenue from the rental or sales of specialized equipment and quality assurance monitoring of the licensee or franchisee. Specialized tool development and tubular cutting knowledge can be proprietary in nature, and keeping such knowledge in-house may be advantageous. Perforating can be either internal or external but explosive tubing compaction is a patented option and an in-house explosive capability could also be advantageous. Finally, because various specialized tooling and intervention knowledge may also be applicable to other downhole operations, having a distribution network for both tooling and services associated with the specialized tools could be very beneficial. Tetra is a U.S. rigless well P&A service provider, and this is one of their slides showing the equipment needed for offshore wireline P&A. Whether it is conventional wireline intervention, conventional wireline P&A, or oil field innovations rig equivalent P&A, the same resources are needed. For 24-hour operations, you need two supervisors, two pump operators, four riggers, and one to two electric line or slick line operators. For daylight operations, you need about half of these numbers. With regard to the required equipment for offshore wireline P&A, you would need a 10,000 PSI tripex pump, depending on the well, and associated valves, a dual drum electric line and slick line winch unit, an electric line and slick line toolbox, a lubricator system with blowout preventers, which would preferably be 10,000 PSI to cover all P&A jobs. At least a 60-barrel tank with a gas buster and choke, a chart recorder and approximately 500 feet of hoses, a hose basket with discharge, suction, and hydraulic hoses, a manual hydraulic pump for opening the surface-controlled subsurface safety valve, which is often referred to as SCSSV, a P&A toolbox, 50-barrel cement blender, gas detector, and norm reader. Norm refers to normally occurring radioactive material. Very small amounts of norm may become attached to wireline tools, which is obviously a concern. The benefit of our wireline P&A 
is that it leaves almost all of the normal radioactive material associated with the tubing down hole, whereas a drilling rig brings it all into contact with the surface environment and people. These are the same tools used in the North Sea well interventions and wireline PNA in other regions like the Gulf of Mexico and Asia Pacific. The advantage of oil field innovations wireline PNA is that it can deliver a rig equivalent PNA scope of work to meet the oil and gas UK and NORSOC requirements and remove the legal liabilities of potential leakages from PNA wells in the US and Asia Pacific by providing conventional through tubing cement bond logging of in situ casing cementation. Where well integrity issues exist, Wireline is a conventionally preferred method for intervention. Through tubing cement bond logging removes legal liabilities associated with leakages from a well that has been plugged and abandoned. Conventional wireline PNA cannot perform through tubing cement bond logging, and thus, our wireline PNA can become a preferred method of PNA regardless of well integrity issues and because it is lower cost and lower risk than drilling rig PNA. Whether oil fuel innovations patented methods of using slick line wireline and or coil tubing are used to PNA an entire well, or alternatively, used to remove the well integrity issues so that a drilling wig or hydraulic workover can PNA a well, it would remain the preferred conventional method, and thus, you must ask yourself why would I use a drilling rig to perform work that I can do with wireline. Accordingly, any company who manufactures, operates, or rents equipment shown to the right, as well as coil tubing operators and manufacturers, will benefit from our technology. To the right is another Tetra slide showing offshore logistics, whereby offshore surface and subsea installations are generally designed for access and well intervention. Logistics for offshore platforms require platform supply vessels, or PSVs and dive support vessels, or DSVs, utility boats, and helicopter services. Very small platforms can require an adjacent lift boat. Subsea wells can also be abandoned from an adjacent lift boat using a crane in suitable water depths and seabed stability conditions. Light well intervention vessels can perform subsea PNA in deeper water. Blow and go and various subsea related PNA work can also be performed from a dive support vessel or DSV or utility boats. Each of these services can benefit from our rigless abandonment technology. This graphic illustrates all the various offshore logistical options. Graphics shown in green are considered rigless PNA logistics, and those shown in red are rig PNA logistics. Starting from the left, supply boats can use walk to work systems on small, normally unattended installations or platforms. Alternatively, if a platform has a helideck, personnel can fly to a platform and can use a crane to unload platform supply boats. In situ platform cranes or mobile cranes placed on a platform can be used to offload and place wireline or capillary coil tubing for well plug and abandonment. A significantly higher cost method is to have a drilling rig cantilever over a small platform or cantilever over a subsea well. A lower cost rigless option is to have a lift boat jack up next to a small platform or next to a subsea installation and use a bridge link to the platform or use an overboard crane to suspend a subsea lubricator for access to a subsea well. In deeper water, a rigless sometimes referred to as riserless PNA, can be performed on subsea wells using a light well intervention vessel, LWIV, which uses a subsea lubricator for wireline or coil tubing subsea PNA. On larger manned platforms with helidex and cranes, wireline and coil tubing can be placed on the platform for well PNA. Some large platforms have drilling rigs, which will generally require significant upgrade for well PNA because certification has not been kept up to date and or operating maintenance has been limited. Restoring an existing platform drilling rig or placing a rented workover rig on a platform can be very expensive compared to wireline and or coil tubing PNA. Finally, subsea wells can be accessed by floating drilling rigs, which is conventionally the most expensive means of PNA. 
The above are proven existing logistical means for P&A, whereby those shown in green are generally significantly less expensive than those shown in red. Because onshore pulling units are relatively mobile and low cost, displacing them from the onshore P&A market in the short term may not be viable. Capturing market share in the long term, especially with regard to the proliferation of fracked wells, may, however, be significant. For example, the picture to the right shows a mobile truck and wireline unit that could be used to abandon wells. For wells that have pressure and are difficult to kill with fluid, stripping or snubbing operations are necessary and costly. Well field innovations rig equivalent P&A can displace such operations with the unit shown to the right. Also, specialty tooling developed primarily for offshore work is also usable onshore and, for example, once oil field innovation's cross-cutting technology is proven, it may capture many aspects of onshore intervention in P&A, including casing section milling. Finally, offshore wells can be easily converted to R&D test wells using our low-cost wireline P&A, and therefore could have a continuing value in tooling R&D. The onshore market for establishing new tooling run histories may be significant as a number of downhole runs is the first question operators ask when trying tooling which is new to their operations. Physical markets applicable to oil field innovations P&A technologies are onshore downhole cutting and specialty P&A, large offshore platforms with living accommodations and normally unattended offshore platforms, and subsea installations where jack-up barges, lift vessels, and even drilling rigs can be positioned next to a subsea well, and light well intervention vessels that can float over the top of subsea wells. Aspects common to all of these physical markets are electric line, slick line, and coil tubing tooling, P&A design, and commercial agreements that are associated with franchising or licensing. Services that will receive significant benefit from oil field innovations patented technologies are tool manufacturers, tool rental companies, and new tool development companies, especially those with an established distribution network. P&A engineering design is also an area where significant value can be captured in sales and customer services with regard to P&A design, regulatory compliance, and project planning. Finally, commercial and finance oriented companies can benefit from commercial arrangements and or alliances, like licensing or franchising, and developing a market share and worldwide distribution networks. A significant factor for capturing value are the legal monopolies afforded by oil field innovations patents. The world is a big place, and only a few oil and gas service companies have access to all of the various worldwide markets. That is why Oilfield Innovations has patented its technologies in places where large national and international oil and gas companies are located. We have patents in North America, including Canada and the USA, Central and South America, including Mexico and Brazil, Europe, including the UK and European Union, Dubai and the Middle East, and Asia, including Russia, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Australia. Having patents in each of these countries facilitates commercial agreements with local firms, whereby local laws enforce the worldwide legal monopolies afforded by the patents. Accordingly, smaller oil and gas service companies can compete with the largest service companies by forming a consortium or alliance of two or three companies with tool manufacturing, P&A design, and commercial expertise. With foresight and planning, a consortium or alliance of companies controlling our patents can effectively compete with and take market share from the largest oil and gas service companies in the world, or alternatively, one of the largest service companies in the world can take market share from the other two or three largest service companies in the world. Finally, it is important to highlight that oil field innovations have been putting its patents into place for a number of years and it represents a secure investment across worldwide jurisdictions that an army of lawyers with unlimited resources could not break. We invite any interested companies to review the scope and breadth of our patent ring fence so as to determine the security of investing in our patents. Thank you for watching the third video of Oilfield Innovations Technology Self-Assessment of the value afforded to service companies 
by our patented technologies. Please watch the final part four of this video presentation, which estimates the financial value of our patents. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video presentation. Goodbye.